Welcome to our deep dive into Apache Flink. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with streaming data. Our viewer is curious about the difference between shuffle and rebalance in Flink's physical partitioning. Let's break it down together. Welcome back to another tech video. Today we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy like me and find that resolution. Now, let's continue on. Let's begin by understanding the two transformations in Apache Flink, shuffle and rebalance. Both are used for redistributing data across partitions, but they do so in different ways. The shuffle function partitions elements randomly according to a uniform distribution. This means that data can end up in partitions of varying sizes, which may lead to uneven processing loads. On the other hand, the rebalance function distributes elements in a round-robin manner. This ensures that each partition receives an equal amount of data, which helps to optimize performance especially in cases of data skew. So when might you prefer shuffle over rebalance? One scenario is when you want to introduce randomness into your data distribution, which can be beneficial for certain algorithms or processing patterns. However, Keep in mind that rebalance may incur additional processing time. If the overhead of rebalancing outweighs the benefits in your specific use case, shuffle could be the better option. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In Apache Flink, there's a common misconception about the difference between shuffle and rebalance. The statement that rebalance is useful for performance optimization in the presence of data skew is misleading. Rebalance simply sends items to the next channel in a round-robin fashion, regardless of how busy that channel is. In contrast, Shuffle sends items to a randomly selected channel. Both Shuffle and Rebalance aim to distribute items evenly, but they do it differently. The load refers to the number of items, not processing time. In conclusion, while rebalance may be slightly more efficient, the difference is minimal and often unnoticeable in practice. And that's it guys. I hope this video has helped find that solution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Okay.